Why have we had a really special day today? We are here in Lonavla with a very special vehicle, the Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Much awaited and finally here in India comes with a new BS6 ready power plant and a 9-speed automatic diesel transmission. Plenty of innovation done, a lot of engineering has gone in to make this compass track worthy and that's what this badge is. Trail rated 4x4, that is the highest level of off-roading capability from the stables of Jeep. We had a thorough session off-road and did test its capabilities. Watch along with us as we tell you all about the Jeep Compass Trailhawk, its off-road capabilities, on-road capabilities, as well as creature comforts. So the Jeep Compass Trailhawk comes with plenty of new engineering innovations and Jeep has really worked on the Trailhawk variant especially because this had to be a trail rated 4x4 from Jeep. The highest level of trail rating from Jeep has been achieved by covering multiple facets. This includes the powertrain, the platform, the suspension the 4x4 system and also of course its drivability. So what's so special about the Jeep Compass Trailhawk? Well let me just elaborate a little more on the fact that it is a trail rated vehicle. You can go into a trail alone or with friends and this vehicle will get you through the stickiest of situations. In fact the engineering is so brilliant whether it is the driver aids whether it is the engine whether it is the power delivery systems they make you feel like you really know what you're doing even though you don't so to start off with let me tell you a little bit about the engine this is a BS6 ready a BS6 compliant diesel mill from the stables of Jeep and the engine puts out roughly 170 PS of power and 350 newton meters of torque that begins quite low at 1750 rpm and ranges all the way up to 2500 rpm so there is a decent band in which the peak torque is being delivered now in order to make this a trail rated vehicle jeep has lifted the snorkel height so while on the standard compass you get a snorkel height set at 720 mm in the trail hawk it is set at 840 mm so that's higher up and increases your water wading capability. What's more, the first slat in the grill towards the right side is completely blocked off and the second slat is half blocked off and third slat as well is half blocked off. This is to ensure that water does not get into your air intake while you're wading through a stream or through a big pond. Now the engine has been mated to a 9-speed transmission this is an automatic transmission and of course Jeep has developed this along with ZF and it was first used on a Jeep vehicle back in 2014 it's been around for some time in the Jeep stable but this is the first time you're seeing it here in India this 9 speed gearbox gives the Jeep Compass a lot of flexibility because this is a trail rated off-road vehicle you need those low gear ratios at the same time it also needs to be comfortable for the city and of course for highways and long jaunts so the 9 speed gearbox gives it ample of flexibility in terms of the low speed gear ratio shorter gearing in the first second third fourth fifth gears so you can easily uh, accelerate in traffic while not compromising on your fuel efficiency and on highways the sixth gear onwards that is four gears six seven eight and nine are overdrive gears so when you're on highways it's going to be super slick super smooth give you that overdrive function where you can push the vehicle a little harder 
and of course rev up a little harder and the shifts are really crisp you will not notice them all while giving you a good fuel efficiency so jeep has also engineered the dimensions of this vehicle of course the length and the track and the width remains the same height has been changed and of course the ground clearance has been increased so the jeep compass trailhawk is on a lift and it gets about 30 mm more of ground clearance so that raises the ground clearance over the standard compass to approximately 205 mm which is pretty decent and while we were doing some hardcore off-roading yesterday it was very very difficult to scrape the underbody speaking of the underbody let me also tell you the approach and departure angles jeep has worked a lot on engineering this and of course you need to shorten the overhang as much as possible and they have so the front bumper as well is changed and that has been changed to cater to a 26.5 degree approach angle which is fantastic and of course uh, the breakover angle is 21.2 the departure angle is 31.6 degrees so a uh, plenty of capability has been engineered into the jeep compass and speaking about scraping the underbody jeep has catered to a standard fitment of four skid plates on the underbody of the compass trail hawk to protect it from uh, rocks etc while you are on a trail while you are off-roading uh, these protect of course your transmission your sump your fuel tank add blue tank yes of course because it is a bs6 vehicle uh, this has been achieved using a dpf that is a diesel particulate filter along with selective catalyst reduction scr technology and uh, you get urea injection which is through the add blue fluid and jeep has catered to a 13 liter add blue tank on the compass trailhawk which has the bs6 engine now additionally on the compass trailhawk you have a four wheel drive low mode you have a four wheel drive lock and you have hill descent control as well other features also include automatic start stop to improve your fuel efficiency you also have cruise control on offer and a electronic rollover mitigation program that works in tandem with traction control as well as stability management systems within the jeep compass trail hawk now speaking a little about its off-road capability uh, jeep has built in the rock mode on the compass trail hawk so when you are going off-road make sure your four wheel drive lock is on four wheel drive low is on and switch it into rock mode you can crawl over most hurdles and bumps pretty easily so the compass trail hawk has adequate uh, amount of uh, torque that is sent across to the wheels you also have a dog clutch on the rear axle the transmission and of course the transmission detaches while you're driving on road off road uh, because it's a wet clutch at the back and there is ample of torque being sent to the rear wheel so the wheels with the most amount of traction will always get the maximum amount of power and of course while you're off road uh, the systems try to send the maximum amount of power to the rear wheel so you can push yourself quite comfortably over hurdles and obstacles the ground clearance and approach and departure angles is way more than enough to easily enable uh, the compass to crawl over most hurdles and of course uh, big logs rocks i mean we crawled through riverbeds we crawled over rocks we crawled over dust uh, grind grit and the compass held its own very easily so while we were driving off road we also experienced a very 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 minimal slip on the wheels and a loss of traction but it was too minimalistic in fact the capability of this uh, compass trailhawk is impeccable off road in fact even if you are a novice or an amateur it's very easy to go off roading in the compass trailhawk and you really really just need to be careful about where you're going and not worry about the capability of the compass trail hawk to get you out of sticky situations so on road we felt that the transmission is fantastic for city driving conditions bumper to bumper uh, low gearing so quicker shift shifts are seamless but maybe just a fraction of a second you may notice it especially at part throttle at full throttle definitely will notice the gear shifts at least in the initial gears uh, in the overdrive gears that is 6 to 9 onwards you will uh, find it quite smooth so for highway driving it's exceptionally smooth 
and city driving of course you will get a good fuel economy if you use it in tandem with the automatic start stop system now jeep has also catered to an inbuilt navigation system in fact the navigation system was also indicating the trail that we were on yesterday so it is a very very comprehensive navigation system that we have on the compass trailhawk what we didn't like about the jeep compass trailhawk was the shorter gearing especially when you do want to get going in a hurry or a shifting manual it becomes evident so post 3500 rpm it's a little bit of a drag but that said you have the overdrive gears for highways and the, the there is enough power and enough torque on offer to really propel you through most of the situations that you are going to be in or the high speed overtakes that you want to perform while on highways Overall the Jeep Compass Trailhawk is a very very capable machine and uh, comes with a lot of handy features as well and of course has been engineered fabulously by Jeep. Now what you do need to watch out for is the price when the Compass Trailhawk is launched and we expect it to be above the 28 lakh mark. So it is definitely going to be on the pricey side but of course you are getting an American brand and of course the Jeep Compass Trailhawk comes with its own fan following globally and uh, it is definitely widely accepted as a very very capable trail rated machine and we felt that the Jeep Compass Trailhawk will definitely be value for money if it comes in at the 28 lakh price point and even if it is a little higher you still get that off road capability uh, which Jeep is so famous for So we hope you like this video if you did hit that thumbs up right now share it with your friends and if you haven't done it yet please do subscribe to the Autotech Review channel for all the latest action from the automotive industry if you have any questions or queries for us hit us up in the comment section below and we will definitely get back to you thanks for watching and until the next time sayonara